next is complex number this is the next this is the third type of number data type that is complex number so first understood what is the complex number complex numbers are combination of a real and imaginary part what is the combination this is the combinations of real and imaginary part complex numbers are in the form of x plus y j where x is a real part and y is imaginary part so let's see its example a equal complex 5 so this is the way to assign the complex number convert 5 to real part value and 0 imaginary part so let's execute the variable a with help of the print method next see b equal complex 101 comma 23 that convert 10 this is the first parameter this is the first parameter or you can say the first argument so that 101 with real part and 23 is as treated as imaginary part let's execute the print b so when you execute that program so you will get 5 plus 0 j and next the b will be execute 101 plus 23 j so this is the way of using complex number now see the next data type that is the string in python how you can assign a variable as a string so let's see the definition a string is a sequence of character what is the string that is the sequence of character in python we can create a string using single quotes or double quotes so both are same in python so if you want to assign a variable as a string so you have to use the single or double quotes both are treated a string into the python so let's see its example str there str i am taking as a a string variable str this is the sort form i take it that is user defined name and there i am assigning within a single quotes computer science so now i am executing that variable print within a single quote str dash comma str so that will print the string so in a print statement if you write anything within a single or double quotes so that will execute as it as it is so that you will write anything within a double or single quotes so that will execute as it is but without single quotes if you write any variable so that will execute the value of variable which value you have assigned so that value will be executed next i am executing print str in 0 and str 0 so print first character s so that string i am executing with index value because when you assign any string into the variable so that the python is also create its index value how you can find the index value index value is z will be start from the 0 0 1 means the 0 place is c and one place is o and second place is m and third place is p so that will going on so there i am executing str 0 so that will execute the first character there next example print 
str123. So that will execute as it is, but there str123 means print string from position first to two. It will eliminate means third place will be eliminate only one or two means first and second place character will be executed. So the first place character is zero and second place character is M that will be executed. And you can also see there into that the print statement you can see O and M will be executed. Let's see the next example. There I am executing str3 colon is within a square bracket. And there str3 colon is within a square bracket. So print a string starting from third character. So there I am placed third. So the string will be executed from the third character. And it is the starting point. And after the colon, that is the denote the ending point. But there I did not identify the number. So it will execute the up to the last character. Clear? So you can see this the pewter signs. Why it will execute? Because I write the third character means the beginning point I assign. So that's why the beginning point is P means 0, 1, 2, 3. The P is in third place. So that's why the program will be executed from the third place. And there I did not assign any number. So that's why it will execute the end character. And next you can see the print str and two str2. So print a string two times. So what happened? The string will be executed two times. So when you will multiply any string with any number, so that will execute according to the string on depend the number. So that's why the str into two meaning that the print string two times. If I am writing there three, so there the string will be executed three times. Next C print str plus in double quote single quotes yes and str plus yes to concatenate means concat means it statement will connect to a string. So you can see there is str, it will execute as it is clear, and there str in str have computer signs, so that's why the there executing first computer sign and it is also concat means join the next string yes so that's why that is the output so these all program you try to execute in your computer system and let's check the output okay so you try to create that program so, such type of operation we can perform into the Python in a string. Okay, now let's see iterating. Okay, uh, we can also iterating through the string. Um, iteration means the repetitions point is called. So, we can also iterate the string how you can iterate means how you can execute that will be learn the for loop into the next chapter but let's see its example str comp that is string we assign into the variable is so that's for i in str so what happened the i will be stored that string within it and then we will execute the print i. So what's happened? One by one character will be executed. So this type of operation is called the iterating. So in a string, we can also perform the iterating operation. That is the repetitions operation. 
that we will learn into the next chapter okay next data type is the boolean in python what is the boolean it is used to store two possible value either true or false so i think you understood boolean means simple true or false so when we assign any variable like boolean so that is only store true or false so let's see its example a string cum sc that is string assigned into the str variable let's str dot is upper method that is a method of a string so by this method i want to check that if that string is in upper or lower case so when i will call the is upper method so it will check assign a string is in upper case or not if the string is upper case so that method will be execute the true boolean value otherwise it will execute the false boolean value so our string is not in upper case so that's why the boolean value will be assigned false so you can see test if a string contain upper case so then it will be assigned true otherwise it will false but there is our string in small letter so that's why it will assign into the boolean variable false so that's why when we execute the print bool so what happened the false we will get that is the output of our program so the boolean is called is it can store only the true and false value list of python means what is the list list are collections of item and each item has its own index value so list is simple number list string list means 1 2 3 4 5 6 any value we will assign into the list that will we will also learn tuples in a string so what is list and tuples both are the same there is a example of list and there is examples of tuples so both are the same expect a list is mutable python object mutable means the list value we can easily able to check and the tuples is immutable python object and tuples value we can not change so immutable python object means you can not modify the contains of tuple once it is assigned so when we assign a tuples value so that can be not able to change but the list value we can easily change into the program so let's see the example of lists and tuples so there i am created the list value so list they are created with 6 and 9 means the list object have the value 6 and 9 there list 0 means the list have the each item in the store with index value so that is the place of 0 and this is the place of 1 means 6 index is 0 and 9 index is 1 so there or uh, i am changing the index value of 0 with a 55 so what happened when i will execute the print list 0 so that will execute 55 but i will execute list 1 so that will be execute 9 so such type of operations we can perform into the list let's see the example of tuple so there tuple i created with parenthesis this is called the parenthesis means a bracket and list always create with help of the square bracket so there i am creating the tuples so tuple i created with parenthesis with simple bracket so 66 and 99 so when tuple 0 3 so that will execute the error clear so you will never able to get anything because tuples is fixed so that you can execute the directly with the name of tuple you can never able to change its value next see the last set in python clear 
it is an unordered collections of unique and immutable which cannot be modified item so how you can create the sets value so sets you can create with help of the curly bracket so set value is also cannot be modified so that is the way of using of sets value next the last data type is the dictionary in python so it is an unordered collections of item and each item consists of a key and a value so whenever you create the dictionary so it is consist two types of value first is key and second is a value so there i am creating the dictionary that is the subject so that subject is key and there its value computer science second with the comma separator let's create the key and this is the value so when we execute the print dct means this is the dictionary variable so what you will get you will get the subject dictionary and class clear so this can able to execute the value with key and value so that will become the index and this is the its value so this is the way of creating the dictionary in a python so in this class we completed the all data type in python so you note down all the definition with example in your notes in your notebook Thank you, Jai Gurudev.